I owe to you. Too. A horse is waiting for you. You should return home. Stay right there, the pair of you. Don't make me no widower now. Oh, boo-hoo! Big tough John Marson has scared a little undead creature walking around. Moses wouldn't hurt a fly. Would you, darling? Get rid of him, would you? Why? Well, because we're old friends. No. Uh, uh, because uh, we'll team up and fight the forces of darkness together? No. Uh, because I've got something you want. Uh, trust me, you cynical bastard. <laughs> Now let's see. Well, it certainly isn't the flu. Their eyes are so devoid of love, of, of anything. I've heard this blamed on Mexicans, Jewish people, freed slaves, the federal government, immigrants, the bad weather. Now this. What's wrong with people? It's true. Look in that chest. He has a sacred mask. That is where this plague came from. Him and his awful lust for power. Mister, I've seen a lot of strange things recently, but no Sasquatch running around here, nor no place else. They, they're made up. There's Sasquatches every place, cowboy. They're nastier than your mother-in-law with a bad case of that virus. And how's that going? How's that going? Well, let me put it to you this way. Cattle rustling and bank robbery are at an all-time low, but murder Blood drinking and psychotic episodes seem to be somewhat prevalent. What's he doing in the bar? Daddy, John's here! Mr. Marston, you remember that idiot bounty hunter? What was he doing in the bar? Just rounding up the undead and keeping them safe so the rest of us can go about our business. Mr. Marston, I see art has got the better of you. Stupidity got the better of me, but I felt I should help an old friend. I appreciate that, sir. Are you ready to watch the creation of magic? If you say so. Do you think this poor girl's family finds life quite so funny right now? Family? I assume she was a common killer. She's a missing person. Missing presumed dead, I guess. But you keep cracking them jokes. I'm sorry, mister. I guess I spoke a little out of turn. Now we got only memories. Memories and a great swath of demonic mutants, of course. <laughs> Have you heard anything? I heard a man in Chicago was writing a biography of me. And can you believe it? An artist in Pittsburgh painted my portrait. I mean, the demonic hordes. Not your own unending glory. No. Oh. <laughs> that nothing too interesting. You don't scare me.
Thank you for bringing Adrienne back alive. Don't want to be the only fella left alive. Maybe my luck's turned! <laughs> 